Uh, proposed ordinance number 996. Uh, motion of the Borough Council authorizing manager Collins to advertise proposed ordinance number 996. An ordinance authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental cooperation agreement with other local municipalities establishing the Robinson Run slash Chartier's Creek Municipal Watershed Alliance and providing for the governance thereof. Um, Mount Pleasant Township, McDonald Borough, North Fayette Township, Oakdale Borough, Original Borough, Robinson Township, South Fayette Township, and we just found out that Collier Township are the additional municipalities that will make up this alliance. And this ordinance, just by way of explanation, this authorizes you to sign the agreement that creates the initial uh, thing. And under that agreement, it's, it's quite flexible in two regards. One, it allows it to um, expand the long chart tiers and hopefully really the beachhead on that here. Part of it's centered on the, the tributary of Robinson. And within the agreement itself, because it was uh, wanted by all the municipalities kind of wanted it to be consensus based and voluntary based and its main intent was to uh, get a critical mass of folks <coughs> together that can be able to get uh, grant money uh, and, and utilize that to do that to get MS4 cross credits back and forth but it so but it also does those so that nobody feels bound money wise or obligation wise uh, all decisions that have no consequence of monetary value or commitment are by unanimity and consensus. However, within that, if a subgroup wants to go off and do something within their subgroup, they can do that as well. So, is there a motion? Do we? Okay. I have some questions. If I'll make a motion. Yeah, that way you can put it on the table. Uh, and Intergovernmental cooperation is a beautiful thing. Uh, bureaucracy, however, is not a beautiful thing. Uh, we are part of the Chartier's Valley Flood Control Authority. We have our own parking authority. You can create layers of bureaucracy that don't make things happen better or faster, but instead slow things down and make things more difficult. Um, MS4 which is just correct me, municipal separate storm system yes storm water storm system municipal separate storm sewer system so separate storm sewer system basically this is rainwater that goes into into the storm sewer system and that is now looking to get permits from the department of environmental protection and the epa so that's what we're talking about, right? With these cross, um, with these cross filings. No, I, no I'm sorry. Maybe I use a bad example. No, that's, bad that's, bad. That's, that's, that's a tangential slim yeah. bad thing yeah. and purpose. I'm sorry. Okay. It, it, that's just one that of those things. The main thing, and again, this was the impetus, frankly, of all the managers and engineers of these communities. And this is not building a bureaucracy. This is actually giving the legal authority for these guys, as they always do, to work informally together as a group, as they, they do well. This allows these communities uh, to get together on projects that would benefit each other, along with that for, for flood control reasons beyond MS4, frankly, primarily flood control and not MS4. Get, there's mm -hmm. some ticket punching there oh, yeah. on the side. Okay, but the primary thing here is, is for flood control, and frankly, it was, it was for uh, primarily to get a critical mass that would help get um, like core grants, core engineers grants, and, the, and, and greater authorizations that they're reticent to give an individual community to step into these streams mm -hmm. that they're more likely to give, as you know, we've been talking about it before. And the way this has been set up, though, it's kind of, I know you have to have legal work with the document to some extent, but it has by intent and purpose been set up to be completely kind of non-bureaucratic, non-monetary, non-committal, completely voluntary, and envisioned to be primarily the managers and the engineers that are coming back to council getting authorizations to try to do group projects within their many municipalities where these engineers and managers know best what's on the ground in their own streams through communities. Like, did I say that fairly? I think you did, Tom, let me add that I think one of the other intents here is that you know some of these communities don't have a large public works department. They might have two or three men. I mean, I, or not everybody has a piece of equipment that can be used to clean up or do one of these projects. So the idea is that the municipalities work together 
where they're putting in forces to perform some of these projects together. Shared services. Shared services. Right. And it's interesting that you mention that um, because and I don't want to throw both things down. I'm related to this, but it actually dovetails on this. Uh, you'll notice that North Fayette Township and Mount Pleasant are involved in this agreement as well. And I have to represent both of those communities. Unrelated to this, I just did an municipal agreement that was designed to allow their DPW departments in, on a managerial and DPW level to do equitable exchanges of, of services with each other. For example, they have to take an affiat somewhere, new road scraping. One has the equipment, the other doesn't. They have, and they're going to basically be able to do in kind trade right. and keep a little tap back and forth. I envision that that agreement, which I will, will show you a sample of it and circulate, I want to get this out of the way. This is a template. This is really the focus is that specific right. thing. This other thing's more generic, and then these relationships can build as well. But beyond, you know, you have this thing going on here. If you have the intergovernmental agreement, and you start working more together, you realize oh, they got that equal, they got that back and forth. You can do a lot of stuff that kind of becomes many administrative, like cog level work that you guys are doing. The flood authority is just a James Fulton project, so right. that that limits us. Right. Whereas it this, doesn't go very far. You know, it does, yeah. Whereas this. We're talking about our tributaries and what we can do in those and trying trying to get together and like South Bay is there, Collier's there. So I know some of these communities are far away, yes, but some are. of them are not. Right. And, and all you're adding to it means we're in the same watershed where our problem is. Right. And South, Up until Collier right. came on board, right. it right. was this distant Robinson Run Rod watershed that really we're in a different yeah. watershed. Well, Robinson is a part of the church. <coughs> I, I know that, but it's not part of the McLaughlin Run. The McLaughlin Run. Right. By different than the Robinson Run watershed, but Collier's joining this really makes it a beautiful. <coughs> thing. Well, we reached out to Collier for that yeah. purpose, but it's right. 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 that because we're all in unit. Yeah, we should have. We, look, right. uh, hold on, hold on. There are, uh, we uh, we have a lot of issues on. This. It was I, you know, concern. Stormwater fee, bureaucracy. Yeah. There's no, no stormwater right. fee. No, so we can hear this. We can, we can Look, if you, if Putting on the table. Hold on a second, Mr. President. Putting on the table concerns does not mean opposition. It means things that we've got to look at so that we don't enter into something that is not going to service our community well. And we can okay. always, always exit this are not happy with how it's working. So, so I we'll think take the show on the road to help go They're all coming here. With, with They're all coming here on what the seventh, I can't remember what the date is. Everyone's meeting here. I, I, yeah. I invited everyone to come here to meet here. Yeah. Trying to bring the news. May 7th? I can't remember. I can't remember. I mean, that's open, right? Yeah. It, um, May. I think it might be May 12th. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, they're all coming. There's a motion on the floor to second session. All those in favor? Uh, uh, opposed? Motion carries. Uh, bill list. Motion to the Borough Council.